Hey guys, we're back. I'm here with Adam of Hollow Sun to get the skinny on some of their new optics. So last year we saw a thermal. This year we're seeing some night vision and some other really cool things. What am I looking at? Give me the rundown. Yes. James, thanks for stopping by. We always yes, love having burst review here at, this, at the booth. Um, so right now, one of the new things we kind of have that's that has been the hot topic is mm. this guy right here. And this is the new DPS or digital pistol sight. What this does is this acts as a thermal camera and it sends a thermal image back to this guy wirelessly and gives you a thermal overlay onto your pistol optic. So this is also a white light, I'm not gonna blind the camera, but it's also a white light as well. Uh, but this has entirely new technological advances when it comes to what can we do with thermal. Yeah. And you know, as a hunter, my, as a hunter myself, it's like this opens up the doorway to a lot of things that probably were never even thought of six months yeah. ago, a year ago. So this is one of these new things we're looking at. This can still be used as a regular optic. This can still be used as a regular flashlight, but it has the ability to wirelessly send data and give you a, a thermal, opti thermal option as well. What's the, what's the range between them? Is it pretty much within any kind of reasonable rifle setup? Yeah, that's what we're looking at right now is what's the maximum distance. Yeah, yeah. But right now we're looking at making it where it's a, a reasonable distance of like, you know, we had on a Raider Flux at the, uh, at the range day. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, about, about that distance. Um, and then obviously we saw some rifle setups that are more like this that are closer. Yeah, yeah. So we're trying different options now. Any yeah. possibility of, uh, let's say I could hold the optic in my hand and shoot on a corner? Well, so <laughs> there, believe me, the question came up sure. and the question, the answer is I don't know yet, yeah. but believe me. It sounds like a yes, it'll be out tomorrow. No. There were a lot of questions that a lot of us <laughs> were like, that's a really good question. Yeah. So it's going to be a whole new, a whole new field and a whole, whole new game yeah. for us, but we're looking into this and seeing what we can do with this technology. Yeah, that's, that's so, incredible. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure Reddit has already decided for me, but there is no release date or price yet. Yeah. I'm sure Reddit already made one up and people believe it. So it's less than a million dollars and it'll be out in the next 10 years, guaranteed. Yeah, there you go. 100%. Right. Yeah. See, you're right. Um, <laughs> then we have uh, kind of what everybody's been waiting for, and that is the thermal and night vision yeah. uh, DRS or digital rifle sight. The night vision is actually shipping now. Nice. The thermal is shipping the next two to four weeks. Very cool. So these are hitting the market right now, pretty much. Um, a couple of changes since the, since the original one, uh, I was a big fan of this, is that originally there was two star keys or star screws that held the batteries in, the 18350s. This is now a ratcheting QD system nice. to take them out. Uh, I know for me, be out in the field, I was like, I, I'm not taking a star key in the field to yeah, change yeah, batteries. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then also, uh, it's magnetic charging instead of USB-C. Nice. And that gives you the option of really not having to worry about a USB-C and getting water or other stuff. Is, is it a fairly common type battery so you could buy like spares or whatnot? Yeah, they're 18350s. Oh, okay, okay. So, you know, I, I... Is it a pair of them in there or...? Yeah, there's two, yeah. so let's, let's do it right now. Yeah, yeah. Show the, show the people what they want to see, right? Oh. Okay. So right in there would be two mounted side by side and those can be taken out, put new ones in. Yeah, yeah. And I know myself, I've got probably 20 of them sitting at home yeah. and I usually don't recharge it via that, I just put new ones in. That's awesome. And I just run it that way. And then to close it, or to, yeah, just close it and just screw this guy down with the ratchet system. So one of those, almost like the old uh, uh, Aimpoint ones where they had on the, uh, the, 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 the old school, that you couldn't over tighten it. Yeah, those were kind of yep. slips once pretty much. Down. Yeah, you, pretty you cool. get it and it just stops tightening down. Uh, there is digital zoom built into these, nice. uh, which is a huge help. And then, is, it a, is it a pure 1X at its default setting or is it like a yeah. nice? 1X, then you can go up to, to 5X and then you have the power on so button up here. I could potentially co it to do like, like an ACOG or something, right? So I have, I have not tried yet magnifying in front of it. Yeah. Magnifying behind it doesn't do a whole lot because obviously you're looking at a screen. Yeah. So it doesn't do it. But I have not tried putting anything in front of it yet, which that was a question we had and I've got to try that yeah, still. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, if, if the diopter is, is adjustable, it's, it's, it should be possible. It just depends on what the minim, uh, minimum focal distance is. Yeah, so that's cool, though. I mean, the curious thing to tr when we try this yeah. is what does it look like. Or how it's going to create one. There you go. <clears throat> right? That's a whole new, whole new. Uh, right. um, it also uses a regular red dot yeah. because I, honestly, I'm going to assume that most of the time these two optics will be a red dot 90% of the time. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, now I need thermal. Now I need night vision. Yeah, yeah. And they'll lock it into that. Um, so those are about $1,600 for thermal, about $1,000 for night vision. That's not bad. And when we had a chance to shoot them at range day or at, at, at the agency party, whatever, uh, the reaction delay or the response delay is like nothing. I think it was, it was like around four milliseconds. Yeah. That's nothing. Like, you know, older digital night vision units, it was like you'd get sick trying to wear them. Mm -hmm. it just, you just couldn't handle it versus like a you know, standard PVS-14 analog unit. And this thing, it was imperceivable. And, yeah. the, uh, and the resolution on it was excellent. We were shooting... I don't know, 50 to 65 yards, something like that. And you could very clearly make out targets, even in really kind of mixed, crappy lighting. Uh, it was awesome. I haven't had a chance to shoot the thermal yet, but hopefully very, very soon. Yeah. 
Awesome. So those are those two guys. Uh, again, appreciating the market now. We're already on the market. Yeah, yeah. Then we have one that I'm really excited about. <clears throat> this is our new Iris. Uh, this is our new IR laser, IR illuminator, invisible oh, nice. laser uh, aiming module. And so runs on one CR123A battery. Mm. And what I really like about this is, for those that don't recall, in the past, I'm gonna do a rear view of this thing here. These were much larger. Our, our, yeah, yeah. our lasers were far, fairly large and sometimes would actually get up into the viewport of your red dot yes. uh, because they sat up higher. The other thing was, if you wanted to change the uh, flood of your IR illuminator, you get a little knob back here, you take your hand kind of off the rail and kind of yeah, adjust yeah. and then go back. They did something really cool here, and this is actually a sliding switch that does the same thing. That's clever. It's strong enough that you're not going to do it accidentally, oh, yeah, but yeah. with gloves on, it's still completely doable, and there's tactile clicks to this. Nice. So now your C-clamp remains, and you're changing that in real time as you're actually engaging targets. Oh, yeah, you'd, oh, yeah, you'd never do it in an accident. It takes, I don't it's know, maybe, force. yeah, like maybe... 20 pounds of pressure? It's, That's definitely. awesome. It's enough where even with gloves on, you're not going to be like, oops, I just... No, no, never. Money. But if you if you were, you know, you wanted yeah. to do it, you could absolutely you do, do it. it. That's awesome. Um, Pricing, availability? Yeah, about quarter two of this year, about $800. What's so, what's what's the strength of the IR laser? Uh, the IR laser, those are 0. 0.7, so they're still in the SIP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The IR illuminator will be using the V-cell technology, mm -hmm. so it's significantly stronger than what it appears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and, it, and, it, and it's focusable too, correct? Yeah, yep. Very so cool. you have all the different options. So you can use it as an indoor light and have it like really, really wide, or a, or a hunting light and have it kind of narrow and far. Yeah. So we, even the current ones we have, like, you know, if, if I'm engaging a target further away, I'm usually zeroing it in, so I want a yeah. tighter beam. If I'm closer I may be you know wide yeah, open yeah. so yeah the iron illuminator uh, with that button is gonna allow you to focus everything very very cool the uh, this is the, also the new version of the SCS as for the CZ P10 yeah, yeah. so one thing we had a lot of people like, I was CZ and I want so now you have this guy for those that don't know about these optics there is no external batteries an internal battery mm -hmm. charged by a solar panel in the back flip that guy up so we can see and that charges the optic itself uh, even a couple hours of, of time in the sun or time in light gives you months of runtime. Oh, wow. Uh, and the other reality is these are made specific for each gun. So gotcha. if you have a Glock MOS, you get the MOS version. The reason is these sit without a plate directly on the gun. Your iron Hell yeah. Witness. That's so awesome. even if this goes down, you know, you survive the zombie apocalypse, which all your fans would do because they're awesome. Hell yeah. And somehow <clears throat> there's no light because the zombie apocalypse. Your iron still co-witness. Nice. So you still have that backup if you need it. Very good. Uh, cool. Single button press design. So that little button back there, that real small uh, button that does oh, everything yeah. from turn it off to change your reticle. Yeah, yeah. These come in green. So what what uh, what cuts are available currently for it? Um, the P10 Glock, yeah. HK Glock, the CZ. Um, I don't think Walter's on there yet. We're yes. released. Yeah, I mean, we're all, we are, there's a multitude of them being released. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, I want to say there's four or five of them out right now off the top of my head. Nice. Uh, I don't know all of them off the top of my head. Um, but we're kind of, we keep rolling them out. This has been met with such fanfare that we sure. just keep releasing new ones almost all the time. So you guys should be doing mechanics here. Yeah, and I, I, uh, I think there was a demo unit of one of those at one point. I don't know if it's hit out yet, mechanics but. Fly off oh my gosh, off. don't they? Not yet. Cool gun. Well, awesome. I appreciate it. Thank hey, you so much, Adam. It's a, it's a pleasure as always. Stay tuned for continued coverage of SHOT Show 2024. To make sure you don't miss anything, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more Burst Reviews.